One thing's for certain, it's if you make a video about Philadelphia, especially cheesesteaks, you will get feedback. My last video, Cheesesteak 101, I thought it was good, and all of a sudden I start hearing back from my brother Kevin. Philly Cheese weighs in. I've got, like, peanut gallery people, like Charlie Kelly, saying, dude, do it right. So I realized the errors of my ways. I did not uh, pay attention closely enough. So I spent the last 48 hours pulling together the right stuff. And I think tomorrow's video, you're going to see a fucking cheesesteak like you haven't seen before. So let me just say, what do we have here? What's going on? Well, it starts with the meat. I think I showed you this beautiful ribeye earlier. Today I picked up a halal ribeye. Mm. That guy's going to be put to work tomorrow. It's going to go in the freezer, it's going to chill up a little bit, and then we'll get it on the Hobart. Next, cheese. What is it with California? I cannot find white American cheese. I, Land of Lakes is sold out, back ordered. Is there a cheese crisis in this country people just aren't talking about? I can get the Belgioso provolone, mild provolone. I got more mozzarella than you can believe. That's going on the meatball sandwich. Ah, and this stuff used to be twice as round. This is provolone picante. So, American cheese aside, I'm doing okay. Did score the big thing of hot cherry peppers, chopped up the way I like them. Screw that hoagie spread, you don't need that shit. And then, homeboy Matt Kasoy at Rosalind Bakery in Pacifica came through. You tell this guy I want a hoagie roll, what does he do? He gives you 24 inches of a frickin' hoagie roll with sesame seeds on it. I haven't seen that since the days of the Italian People's Bakery in Trenton, New Jersey. This is the real deal. So stay tuned tomorrow. Yeah, I'm Pizza Mike. See you later.